Okay, welcome back everyone to the final section, section 7. Um, in this part we will do the final touch-ups, um, we will do some visual feedback um, of the, the drag percentage. Um, yeah, essentially just make it look good, make it look presentable. Um, to begin with, we will modify our main.dart file. We will change or we will wrap the wave slider in a column widget. Hit save. Uh, it should fling to the top. What we want to do is say main axis alignment to be the center. Perfect. Next, what we want to do is we want to give a title or a text field that actually says what the slider is for. So for our example, we will say select your age. Save it. Do, 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 do. We would like to create a row. Children. And for this row, we will give it a text field called the value. And after that, we will give it another text field that says capital years. Okay, so as you can see currently, this is not exactly what we want. Um, for the first part, we would um, like to insert a sized box. And give it a height of 50. Perfect. Um, for the top text, widget, we can give it a text style with a bigger font. And we can give it a font size of 45. And we will also specify a font family of EXO. Let's see if this breaks. Perfect. Okay. As you can see, I specified this font family as uh, of EXO. I included a separate font called EXO regular. And in my public public file, I specified uh, the import of this asset. Um, this asset or this um, font I got from Google fonts. One thing to note is if you do import a new font, this will require a new build not a hot restart, it will require like you stopping and then rebuilding. Why? This is because um, the, the um, new build package will include this file. So let's start this up. While we wait for this to boot again, um, we can include the following. For the value field, uh, this is obviously not going to say value, we want this to say what the age is based on the percentage of the, the, the dragger. So we can say double age. And we can initialize it to be equal to zero. And we can actually say this is an int. Two string. Perfect zero years. Between these two fields, we can also give it a size box. a width of 15. Let's save it. Perfect. Okay. Oh, wrong field. For the text parameter, I would like to give it a style and a text style. And we can say a font size of 45. Perfect. For the years, we are going to also specify a different font. So style, uh, text style font size equal to 20 with a font family 
set to text me one. Perfect. So as you can see currently the years um, text field and the age text field doesn't align at the bottom. So what we want to do is for the row and um, we want to say cross axis alignment um, equal to baseline. So this will be the baseline of the text. This will error out, I believe. Yes. And that's because we also need to specify this text baseline and we will say this is alphabetic. Um, and as you can see, alphabetically, it, it lines it at the bottom. If we say ideographic, I'm not sure what the difference is. Um, I honestly don't know. Let's see. There is horizontal line used to align ideographic characters. Um, this is obviously alphabetical ca characters, so that's what we want. Okay, good. So a current problem that we will see once we start dragging is I believe if we increase this from 0 to 10 to 100, it will push, push the year's text field to the right as this increases in, in size. So what we actually want to do is we want to have this right aligned and then fill the empty space to go to this left side. Um, the reason why we want it on the left side is purely because normally if you use this slider, I believe you'd use your, your right hand or your right index, fin index finger. So you don't want this to be covered by your, by your hand as you're dragging. Um, obviously, if, if you want to implement this in a different way, feel free. Um, what we need to do now is we need to find a way to get the actual uh, percentage value back. So to do that, we will go back to Wave Slider. And within Wave Slider, we will define a callback function. We will call this value changed with a parameter double call this on changed okay value changed signature for callbacks that report that an underlying uh, value has changed so whenever our percentage value has changed this this callback function will be called and we will specify a function uh, uh, when we actually call this wave slider widget or when we uh, build this wave slider widget so to begin with, we need to add this. Perfect, let's add it. Let's format this document. And we will also make this a required att attribute. While we are busy, I'm gonna create a assert to say that the height is always bigger than 50, the specified height by the user, and the height will never be smaller than 600. Perfect. Okay, this should give a problem. The parameter on change is required. If you look at the, the bottom, at the, the, the problems area, um, what we want to do as well is to say on drag update, we want to say create a new method and we're gonna call a new method called handle change start. And we will pass this the drag percentage. And handle change start will do the following. We will first assert that the widget dot on changed value is not equal to null because we don't want a user to go uh, or a user to go and say um, wave slider unchanged null we, would, we don't want that if it's going to be null uh, it shouldn't break because that means the user just doesn't want a callback but we also don't want to actually uh, call a call a function that's null Okay, next what we want to do is actually call the onChanged and we will give it the value. Okay, so continuing um, within our main.dart file, um, instead of passing null now, we can actually give it a function. We will say double value 
and within this we will call set state and we will say the age parameter equals the value that we get because this is a fractional value times 100 and we will say round perfect so if we update this i do think it will work i don't believe we will have errors and as i said we have this issue where it pushes the value further along um, this horizontal axis if it if it goes from being single digit to multiple digits to three digits so as a final thing what we'd like to do is we would like to say that the row should be aligned in a different way we are going to say main axis alignment equals the end perfect see what happens okay so now it's 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 centering well it's aligning it to the end but as i said we don't want that imagine the cursor is a finger that will just block the value uh, if a hand goes like this uh, to be fair this might be better uh, if, if it's a left-handed person um, but yeah I'm, uh, just for interest sake i'm going to show you how we can get this one to the left and also maintain like a constant um, uh, difference between the um, age value and the, the years text field so to do that we are going to specify an expanded widget and all we need to do is just give it a container and what this will do is this will essentially um, make sure that whatever space is available within this row gets filled by this expanded widget so this expanded widget is pushing everything to the left uh, it's a little bit too much to the left so we're just gonna give it a fixed width a size box with a width of 15. perfect okay i'm very happy I think we'll have this issue. Okay, so we also have this issue where if we're clicking, uh, this is obviously not dragging, it's just starting, stopping, starting, stopping. It's never dragging. So we would also like to specify um, another value, uh, value change. We're gonna call this value change double on change start and implement that or add the final parameter and then we will create a new method called handle this should be called handle change update not handle change start widget on change that we want to call on change thoughts on drag starts we will call handle change start and we will give it the um, drag percentage perfect In main.dart, we will then um, give it another callback function. Um, wave slider, we will say um, on change start, double value, and set state. We can just copy paste this. Format, let's see what happens there we go perfect uh, if you want to be extra sure i guess we can also add an end uh, but the end value will be the final update value because this end um, on drag end these drag end details end um, does not have um, the global position so this is perfect um, 
yeah, and I believe that is that. Um, I think that's it. Um, thank you to those that I actually stuck through to till the end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if there's any questions, please ask in the comments. Um, I'll try my best to answer. Uh, this is officially my first actual video, so uh, it's still a learning curve for me. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.